Leo, hi, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, the tarot reading. All right, so Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit. If it's not for you, it's just not for you. All right, so Leo, stick with me till the end. I'm going to pull some letters, numbers, zodiac signs, see who it is you're dealing with. And also, uh, please... Hit that like button, like this video, comment below if you'd like, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, Leo, let's get into your reading. Message in a bottle, your overall energy, and yin. Wow, Leo, somebody got your heart? <laughs> yin, that's the loving, caring, nurturing side to the yin-yang. Usually, Leo, you show up as the yang, the fiery, fierce, go-getter, passionate, or lion energy. Um, you're showing up a little bit more sensitive this time. Hmm. Keep in mind, though, too, Leo, when I say, like, your person's energy, it could be flip-flopped and reversed, so this could be your person, but take it how it resonates. Uh, there could be a message coming in, or you received a message that kind of got you all happy and giddy. Uh, but let's see, what's your person's overall energy? What's going on with Leo's person? What's going on, Leo's person? It's also compassion, compromise, understanding, that kind of a thing, too. All right, what's going on, Leo's person? A change in the wind. Ooh. They may, may be making changes or wanting a change in their life. Fork in the road. Yeah. So they're stuck. <laughs> Leo, this person is stuck. Uh, come to the edge. All right. They might be getting ready to take some kind of leap of faith. Maybe it's towards you. Let's dig in and find out. All right. Current energies for Leo's person. What is going on? Leo's person. Current energies. All right, Page of Pentacles. So they, I feel like they're not offering much at this moment, but they're extending some kind of... Some kind of uh, solid, stable energy. They feel love for you they feel a soulmate bond here equal love exchange oh leo um is this person like in another connection or leaving something behind i feel like that happens so much leaving somebody behind for something else they could just be maybe you live at a distance and they're trying to change things up so they can be closer to you there, there's something possibly going on with that um but let's keep going yeah wow three of pentacles they want to build with you i feel like this is being like manifested this feels like a strong connection i'm hoping it stays positive here for you leo um three of pentacles that's taking your visions dreams thoughts visualizations and turning them into a reality building towards each other uh, with each other as a team wanting the same future being on the same page seven of cups what is this confusion? What is this? Seven of Cups. There could be, you guys, something to do with a distance, travel. I have the world card here. Or closing out some kind of a cycle. Uh, Nine of Wands, wounded warrior that's fighting the good fight. That's also keeping your walls up, um, standing your ground, taking a stand here. Leo, this could be vice versa, okay? But if this person caused confusion or if you, you caused confusion to them or made them feel like an option, I feel like they want to fight for this. The, there's a soulmate energy coming through here. When I say soulmate, I, I mean there's that equal emotional feel for each other like you just knew each other there's a spark it hurts to be away from each other especially if there's a lot of distance i feel like there's something going on with that but it could be a cycle Should confirm the world card for me what is this moving on to calmer waters so closing out some kind of a cycle here ten of swords some kind of 
painful ending with an empress in reverse. They could be leaving somebody behind. Maybe somebody they have children with or this person, this empress in reverse, Taurus energy. This person could have betrayed this person, stabbed them in the back, caused the painful ending or they're, they're ending something, okay? Yep, now three of wands waiting. You could be waiting for them. Maybe this message that comes in makes you super happy. Now let's see, what are the blockages? Blockages for Leo and their person. What are the blockages? Blockages for Leo and their person. I just flip those the wrong way. There we go. Blockages, blockages for Leo and their person. What's blocking this connection? Could have been fighting, drama, too many people involved, competition. Blockages for Leo and their person. These cards don't want to talk. There we go. <clears throat> King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And Three of Swords in reverse. Someone may need to cut off somebody or there needs to be a separation from a contract or something like that. This person doesn't want to hurt you, Leo. They don't want to cause any heartache, pain, anything like that. Four of Wands. Yeah, there could be some, this person could be stuck in a commitment, house, home, children, assets things like that. I feel like there is a heavy burden weighing on this person and you. It's like, is this ever going to end? Is this person ever going to take this leap of faith with me? Yeah, there is there. Are they going to choose, make a choice here and get become single and move this forward? The lover's Gemini energy, making that choice in love, choosing your soulmate, who, who you're really meant to be with or want to be with. Um, there could be something from the past blocking this or something with children. Somebody's not fully single here. I feel like it's your person, but again, feel free to flip-flop and reverse this entire reading or some of the energies, however you see fit. Things are still in choppy waters here between the two of you. This person needs to make a choice in order for this wheel to spin. Yeah, there could be a divorce on the table or a need for it. Okay, let's see. Um, how does this person truly feel about you, Leo? How do they truly feel about you? Yeah, they want to come towards you and make some kind of romantic love offer, gesture, Possibly an apology. Why are they, you're, oh, are you holding back? Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. There's two knights here. They might be fearing that you're going to run away from them because their energy was a little bit wishy-washy here. In and out, up, down, hot, cold. They want to heal this Four of Swords. Yeah. They could have put you in a third party situation, third party person, place, or thing. And they want to heal this with you. You could feel like they misled you or their actions didn't match their words. Something wasn't lining up here. But I feel like it's because they were stuck. Yeah, see, I feel like they want to reignite this flame, have a stable new beginning, put down some kind of a burden with you. How else do they feel about Leo? I don't know if I should take these, but... They have emotion here. There's traction, passion, desire. They want to fight for this. They might be seeing you make a head over heart decision though, 
Like, should I stay? Should I go? Should I continue to put up with this or not? I have Cancer and Sag energy showing up. Hmm. It's like you're the, the perfect combination of sexy and cute, you know? Like, you, this is how this person sees you. And you're a fighter, Leo. They see you. You stand your ground. You don't put up with nobody's BS. If you don't like it, you speak it. And I feel like they admire that about you. But I think that's also why the, the, I'm almost feeling a little bit of like intimidation or how do I talk to Leo? How do I start a conversation with Leo? How do I explain this? How do I, how do I not have Leo walk away from me? All right, let's see. What's the potential outcome? What's the potential outcome? Knight of Swords again, Gemini energy. The Sun, Leo energy, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, Judgment, Scorpionic energy, Page of Cups. This person's going to come towards you and apologize. They know that they've caused heartache and pain. They want a new beginning with you. They're attracted to you. There's passion, desire. They want to reignite the spark with you. They see you as their happiness. I feel like this person is going to come charging towards you once they come up with the courage, strength to do so, to reconcile this. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Or they could have been connected to a Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles. They want that stable new beginning. They're attracted to you. There's passion, desire, there's emotions. There's that world. Moving on to calmer waters, finally. So that was a blockage here. Things were staying stuck in choppy waters. Now they want to actually move away from that choppy waters and start this new cycle with you. Look, leveling up, commitment, 1111, make a wish, wish is coming true, twin flame, soulmate energy, 1111, make a wish, make a wish, Leo. They want to level up, a reason to celebrate. So instead of going through all this, I feel like they may come towards you with an apology and a love offer gesture like, I don't want to lose you. Let's be exclusive. Let's take this serious here. They, they want to change. They were, they were stuck. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacle for Leo. And Leo, you don't have to take this person. You can do whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do, okay? Um, so don't come at me in the comments. Like, I'm not saying. I'm just saying this person wants this. Whether you choose that or not, that's on you. Right? You can. Ball's in your court. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacles, Leo. Biggest obstacles in this connection. The burden. Yep, there was definitely a burden here. And then we have healing and schizophrenia. This person may have made you feel like you were going crazy. Because I do feel at some point their actions weren't matching their words. And that could have been a huge burden to you because, you know, you guys are people of your word. You know, when you say something, when you're going to do something, you, you do it. You take action. This person may have been false promising empty promises, things like that. And I feel like that's going to come to an end. Um, healing this, so this is where I said don't come at me in the comments, um, that is a challenge here. Healing this. Can I trust this person? Can I believe what this person says? Are they being true? Are they being honest? Is this just another ploy to, you know, string me along or breadcrumb me? Or is this real? You know, um, from the energies here, I do feel it's real. For most of you all right um but again use your own judgment use your own discernment let's see what else do we have for leo vibration energy and positivity raise your vibration and attract what you desire all right don't let this get you down i feel like you actually are staying in a good light uh with this situation going on all right you are staying grounded and positive all right pause in action calmness step back wait for the sign 
and feminine, your divine feminine, you seeking her twin or soulmate, could be your person, vice versa, whatever. Soulmate. You guys are, are seeking each other. You're aligning with, with your energies. All right. All right. Let's see what else for Leo. What else do we have for Leo? Ooh, a lot. I wonder if you are happy without me. Oh, they are stuck in the head. They don't like to see you, like, pulling your energy away from them. They don't like it at all. I want to tell you how I feel. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So there's something that they may have learned here. I can't stop thinking about you. See, I just said that. They can't stop thinking about you, Leo. Especially if you're pulling your energy away. Now it's like, no, come back to me. Come back to me. You know, they, they feel that disconnect going on. So, all right, let's see. Letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initial. Could spell out a name. Could spell out a word of significance. Um, if they have the first letter that's the same with their last name, I only have one of each, so feel free to double the letters, okay? All right, X, J, R, D, W, N, I, P, U, E, C, K, O, B, and H. So X, R, J, D, P, I, W, N, C, O, H, B, K, E, U. All right, let's get some numbers. Numbers could be birthday, anniversary, age, data, significance, uh, months, weeks, years. Place it how you see fit. Could be an angel number. Whatever. All right. Let's see. We have 8, 9, 10, 11. So that could also show there is progress happening here. All right, eight, nine, 10, 11, it's going in sequence. Um, I also have 12 and 13 right here in front of me. What? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, things are progressing in this connection. All right, anyway, so eight could be the eighth of any month, ninth, 10th, or 11th um, of any month, or August, September, October, November. Use number. <laughs> All right. Zodiac signs could be sun signs, strong placements in their charts, could be something that happened during that season. So Leo season, for instance. All right, what do we got? We have Libra, Pisces, Leo, and Taurus. Libra, Pisces, Leo, and Taurus. Could be any sign, you guys. Take it how it resonates. All right, that could just be an extra confirmation for you. Uh, so, Leo, that is what I have for you this week. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Leo, love and light. Take care.